In this video, we will demonstrate how you can get payments from users with Stripe via Bitform. Note Stripe is a pro feature for using this integration you need a pro version of Bitform. At first, we have to create a Stripe config for using the Stripe. To create a Stripe config go to the app settings and then payments. Now click on the plus icon, and then Stripe. You can change the integration name to your own preference. You will need the publishable key and secret key to set up the Stripe. For that, you have to go to your Stripe developer dashboard. Log in if you need to. And for this video, we are using test mode for testing purposes. If you want to use it in your project then you have to turn off this and use live data. Copy the publishable key and secret key. Go again to the bit form and paste the copied key. and click on the save button. Now to use it in your form go back to the Bitform dashboard. From the Bitform dashboard create a new form if not exists already. Or select any form to use the stripe. We have already created this form with some fields to use. Let's drop a stripe field from the toolbar. Note if you have a single config then it will be select automatically, otherwise you have to select it manually like this. From now we don't need the submit button. Because when you click on pay now, the documents will be submitted automatically. You can change the button text and pay button text form here. You can change the layout as a card or accordion. This is the theme setting you can use it as your preference. If you want to know more about layout and theme settings please visit Bitform official docs. You can change the language of Stripe as your region we have given you all the options possible from the Stripe. If you want other payment type or multiple payment type you can choose from here. We have all possible currencies in Stripe which you can change anytime from this settings. We have two amount types here. One is fixed which you have to set from the admin dashboard. And the other is dynamic which the user can write the amount or select any of the predefined values from a number field and etc. Now go to the additional setting tab. If you click the toggle, you can map the email field. If you select the address then you can map more fields from here. You can select mode billing or shipping. You can select autocomplete fields from here. If you want you can select which country's users are allowed. You can map the name field. If you click the phone toggle, you can map the phone number field from here. You can map the address from here. First, let's see how the fixed amount works. Here give a fixed amount. We will go for the dynamic option later in this video. We don't need the amount for now. So I am hiding this. Then click on update. Now I will demonstrate to you, if I am the user here how will I submit it and do the payment. Click the pay now. The form is successfully submitted. Now go to your responses. And then in the related info section of that entry. You will get all the payment transaction information of your user. In this section of the video, we will show you the uses of the dynamic option of Stripe field in Bitform.
the dynamic option only works with the number field, radio button, drop-down list, etc. With this feature, you can dynamically take any type of amount from the user. For the dynamic amount type, if you don't have any number field please create one before I hide the number field. So, I am making this field visible. Now we will demonstrate to you again from the user perspective how I can pay the dynamic amount of my own. Click the Pay Now. The form is successfully submitted. Now go to your responses. And then in the related info section of that entry. You will get all the payment transaction information of your user. We have added tremendous amounts of customization for the Stripe field in Bitform. Try those at your pace and make the payment from the user more dynamically. Thanks for watching.